right, now, up and coming comedian, he's a beauty. Uh, please make him welcome, Dave Jory. <laughs> Hey, everyone. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. Hey, so this is incredibly embarrassing, folks. Uh, last week, I went into a McDonald's, and to my horror, a girl I went out with in high school was working behind the counter. And it was just incredibly embarrassing for me to have to go up to her and ask for an application form. <laughs> you know, that feeling, I know I'm not going to get this job. You know, I just know it. But uh, it is great to be here for uh, tonight, folks. Uh, fact is, I actually shouldn't be here tonight because uh, tonight is actually my uh, first wedding anniversary. So. Uh... Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Not sure why you're applauding. I took the gig. Um, <laughs> Which is uh, not good for the relationship, folks. But there's a, there's a trick to surviving an anniversary. And I'll give you the tip to anybody here in a relationship. It's very, very simple. Uh, all you got to do to get through an anniversary, folks, is just get the other person something nice, right? Something thoughtful, something romantic. Yeah, so, uh, yeah. So uh, I got my wife uh, the movie Breakfast at Tiffany's on DVD. Because nice. that, that's her favourite film. So uh, she's at home watching that tonight. Um, <laughs> well, it's, it's due back tomorrow, so... Uh, <laughs> told I'm not paying late fees. I'm not made of money, ladies and gentlemen. But uh, I'll tell you a bit about myself as we get into this, folks. Uh, my name is Dave Jory. Uh, I wasn't always a comedian. Originally, I was a dog trainer at an obedience school, but I was fired for having an affair with a student. Uh, thank you. Thank you. But, uh, but uh, I'm the product of a very traumatic childhood, I think it's fair to say. Uh, I was raised in an orphanage that was owned and operated by my parents. So... Uh, <laughs> Obviously, the orphans all hated me. They were jealous. That's, that's what it was. But, uh, folks, uh, I was watching Neighbours last night um, until they spotted me and pulled the blinds down. Um, <laughs> so, fairly awkward stuff there, right? <laughs> Thank you. You're very kind. But, uh, no, my real thing right now, uh, I'm 34 and I'm trying to get healthy because I'm 34 and I, I feel like I've got to get in some sort of shape. So I'm trying to be a vegetarian. This is my new thing. Right? I know it's hard, but my wife, I'm doing okay because my wife is a vegetarian. See, so, so I'm a vegetarian at home, you see. But I find I just, I cave in as soon as I go out to a restaurant. You know, I just, I look at that menu and I just think, well, nothing's going to save these animals. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like once you're printed up on a menu, you're pretty much screwed, aren't you? There's no coming back from that. You know what I mean? So I thought that like, my ordering a salad could save a life, you know? I, I might give that a go, but I'm assuming the animals are dead back in the kitchen, so I will have the chicken, you know? If I thought the chef was back in the kitchen with like a gun to a chicken's head waiting for the order to come in, what are you ordering? Salad? Get, get the hell out of here. So that might change things, but I'm assuming they're dead, so I'll, uh, I'll have the chicken. I tell you what, what strengthens my decision to become a vegetarian though, folks, is those, uh, those takeaway chicken and chip shops, the really dirty, filthy places with the... Because, you know, the front window of those shops, they've always got the cartoon picture of the chicken with, like, a top hat and a monocle dancing, you know? Hey, <laughs> this couldn't have worked out better, you know? It's, <laughs> it kind of well, misrepresents the experience for the chicken, I think, don't you? I don't know what that's designed. I think it's designed to lure chickens into the shop or something, you know? The, the chickens are there, are millionaires. Let's go, you know what I mean? I don't know what that's all about. But, folks... Essentially, this is what's happened. This is my time. I'm done. But uh, essentially, uh, if you enjoyed this, my name is Dave Jory. And if you didn't, my name is Craig McLaughlin. <laughs> Thank you very much. Good night. That's so nice. There's Dave's date. So if you want to go and see Dave, there he is. Um, Town Hall, Melbourne, Sydney Comedy Store, Enmore Theatre as well. Or go to that website. Uh, please, another round of applause. Dave Jory.